I'm gonna talk first about the two different options that kind of help give people back the dignity and their smile, uh, get it back to health and balance. One's gonna be restoring it by keeping your teeth and one's gonna be restoring it by removing your teeth. So we'll talk about both. I'm gonna do some cases. I'll show a few cases that illustrate uh, what it looks like to remove teeth and do implants and, pro and a prosthetic. And I'm gonna show you one where we keep the teeth and we restore the smile in just a short amount of time. So pretty unique. We do all of that here at Innovative Dental and it's life-changing dentistry. So before I dive in, thanks so much for tuning into this video. I hope it provides you a great amount of information that's valuable and helps make better oral health decisions for you and get you back to, uh, you know, really smile on your fullest. So if you like it, please give a thumbs up, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and then definitely leave some comments below. I want to hear from you what things I could do better at answering. Uh, maybe there's some questions that are detailed that I can put in future videos. So definitely put it down there. I'll try to respond. And if I don't respond, I'll at least say, hey, I'm gonna maybe do a video about that. Just stay tuned, okay? Let's dive on in. First, there are, you gotta decide, there's two different paths, right? One keeping the teeth, one removing the teeth. There's a lot of variables that go into that decision. And that's all for a future video because there's so much that goes into that, right? Uh, a lot of subjective ideas from, from the patient, a lot of objective things that are clinically, like what's the best choice uh, for, for long-term health and, and a lot of variables to that. But let's just give you those two options. So one's gonna be this guy's path right here. He comes to us, he goes, I am tired of not smiling. And when I do, nobody can see my teeth. And he goes, I'm tired of living this way. And maybe some of you guys can relate, right? Maybe you smile or even, Maybe when you do, you're just, you know, nobody can really see your teeth because they, they're worn or decayed or damaged. Um, and you're going, I just, I, I don't want to go throughout life anymore without really expressing myself fully and people being able to interact with that, right? So maybe the masks were good for some of you, but now that maybe some of the masks aren't uh, being worn, you're going, darn it, it's highlighting the fact that my smile is not what I want it to be. You know, this guy here comes to us and we were able to go, you know what, teeth are fairly straight. There's some decent amount of bone and healthy tooth structure to work with. Maybe we can just reconstruct this for you in a matter of a few short hours. And so that's what we decided for him. We were able to take these worn teeth, reconstruct them with some nice veneers and crowns, build the bite back up to a proper height. I will show all of this in a future video and go in a little bit more detail. But if you're wanting to see maybe what a veneer looks like, so it's really thin, but these go and get bonded on to teeth and they allow us to change the shade and shape. And you'll see here in his after photo, what we're able to do for him, right? We're able to take a smile that was non-existent and give him something to smile about. So he's able to go back to his family and back to life and live it to its fullest by grinning ear to ear. So pretty awesome. So we're pretty excited to help him. Now let's go to another scenario here where, you know, this lovely lady, she's got some pretty bad decayed, broken down teeth, um, some missing teeth already. And you look at it and you're just going, I don't know if there's any way I can really give her a nice smile by even a bunch of implants, trying to crown or fix some of these remaining teeth and root canaling them. There's just not much there to work with and the cost maybe to fix it is astronomical and maybe it wouldn't last very long. And so all these factors start leading us to go, let's take these teeth out, start with a clean slate and give her an awesome, beautiful smile in a short amount of time too. These photos here are only a week apart, which is really exciting. So you're able to see what we're able to do for her. These prosthetics, this smile that she's wearing here, it's not coming out, this one's screwed in. Here's what they look like. It's made out of a premium material called zirconia. It's ultra strong, very aesthetic, very slick, natural, gums are natural. So it's a phenomenal material that really transforms people and allows them to smile with confidence. Nothing's moving, they're not taking anything in and out, nothing's going on the nightstand. So uh, you can imagine quality of life, being able to smile fully and not have to worry about their teeth breaking or decaying. Uh, is a lot of uh, benefit to these patients. So we're excited to share her after photo here. You can see the before and after, just a total transformation, not just in her teeth, but just the person that she is. So uh, excited to be a part of that smile. But I'm gonna go into detail on both of those tr uh, types of transformations, right? The full mouth reconstruction with maintaining and keeping your teeth, and one's gonna be restoring it by removing your teeth and putting in implants and the prosthetic and what, what kind of things go into that decision uh, in future videos. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss that because I think it'll be very valuable for you. But I also wanna point this out, you know, what are the variables that make th that decision? And why is it so important uh, who you choose to go see when it comes to helping you and guiding you through this process? The reason it is important is if you go to a dentist that or an office that all they do is implant prosthetics, 
that's fine. But the reality is just, just know they're probably likely going to recommend an implant prosthetic. You know, they're not going to recommend something they don't do likely. And so you're not getting a super balanced opinion. They're going to tell you that's probably what we do. And so we'll do that. Or if you go to a dentist that doesn't do implants and maybe, or maybe doesn't do implant prosthetics at all, but they do a tons of veneers. What are they going to recommend to you? They're going to recommend veneers and crowns. And that's because that's what they're able to help you with. And that's likely the path of that they're going to encourage you, you know, just know that now, what do I think is important? What is, what is the value I think that our practice could bring to someone who chooses to do a virtual consultation with me, which by the way, the links in the comment section below, um, we'll put that link there for you to, to have a virtual consultation and discuss your smile and, and to go over how to, you come here and we fix it. But the benefit of a practice like ours is that we do both. And so we're able to offer patients either maintaining their teeth and working with what they've got, which is awesome for those that it, that makes sense. You know, after talking with them, that's where we can make that decision or removing the teeth and doing implants, starting with a clean slate and doing something like an implant prosthetic. And that's really important that they're able to cater the discussion and decision uh, to what is really ends up being best for you. And that's what I feel like I can do for you here at Innovative Dental. So I'd love to see you here. Uh, if that makes sense, give it a thumbs up. But that's that's what we want to be able to do for people. Obviously, there's other offices that do the same. And I'm going to give you a little advice, right? Let's say you're watching this video and you go, I get it, man, but uh, that's nice, Dr. O, but I'm not traveling to Springfield. And I go, you know what? That's fine. I get it. And that's not for everybody. Now we have people travel from all over the country and we're honored to help them. And I know I can do the same for you. But if you're going, well, I just need to find somebody locally. That's what I want to do. I'm going to give you a couple tips of, you know, to try to help you figure this out. You know, there's, there's one is going to be Check the reviews. Make sure that most of the people have great things to say about the way they're treated and the kind of caliber uh, of treatment they end up getting. Uh, another one would be make sure that they've got tons of before and after photos, either on their Instagram or their website. Maybe they have a YouTube channel. That would be great. I mean, something where they're sharing what they do. I think that's important, right? You don't want to be someone that's kind of a guinea pig or they don't have a ton of experience with, you're, you're probably going to, and if you are, I'd ask for a pretty steep discount. So, uh, but all that to say, you know, pick somebody that you can tell has got experience with this. Uh, then the last one being, um, I think this is probably the most important. I get this all the time. I had a patient just last week share this with me. He uh, chose to do this treatment with us. And his number one reason for choosing our practice to do this work was the vibe. Sounds kind of silly, right? But he comes to our office and he goes, you know, just it just sensed that people here genuinely cared and that I was going to get a, a premium service for a fair fee. And that meant a lot to us. And I think that that's really important. I mean, I've told, talked about that in previous videos, choosing a cosmetic dentist or somebody who works in your smile. There should be a really good sense throughout the whole practice that this is a, a treatment that these people do and they're confident with and that you're gonna get an excellent service and they can handle challenges that might come along the way. I'd love to tell you that everything is super easy and goes perfectly with every treatment. But what you want is you want a team that can handle the challenges that might come up during any sort of dental treatment. Uh, and that is what uh, you're gonna sense when you go to that dental office. That's a huge uh, thing. It's, I tell people it's also kind of like, um, you know, you go buy a car and a used car, you're gonna know pretty quick if this is for somebody you can trust and they, they kind of have a little bit of a shady vibe to them and you're going, I don't know, you're gonna go to the next place, right? So uh, definitely don't make this you know decision for uh, your smile, something as important as your, your, your face and your future and your identity with your smile. Don't, uh, don't make that uh, just um, too haphazardly, right? Be really confident that uh, you're choosing somebody that you can trust and a team that you can trust. Uh, so anyways, I kind of rambled there, but I think it's important. Trust is a big deal and people uh, who you end up trusting to do it is a big deal. So hopefully it makes sense. I'm super excited that you watched this video. Thanks so much for doing that. I, I hope that it gave you some good insight into your options, things to think about. Like I said, in future videos, look for, uh, you know, before and after uh, more detail about how we achieved the smile and then uh, look for some details about how to make this decision, right? How, do I keep my teeth or do I remove them? I'm gonna dive deep into that process of how I help patients think through that. But you guys have an awesome day. Give it a like, thumb up, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, you know what, keep smiling. It looks good on you.